Look, everybody, I'm going to need you to hear me out on this one. My name is Vampire Chicken. I'm a grandmaster at the game of Risk, and today we are going to be playing on a very familiar map, but we are going to play some settings that I know a lot of people are already, they're already in the comment section and they're about to go insane, but trust me when I tell you that I've done this many times. I think this is my sixth or seventh game that I've done so far of these exact settings, and I think they are so fun and uh, somehow they don't end up stalemating, which doesn't make any sense. These seem like ultimate stalemate settings, but just wait until you see this, okay? I am gonna take this capital. It seems very standard, and I'm gonna try to take this corner, assuming nobody goes below me, but this is what we are doing today. Now, come on, give it a chance. Just give it a chance, okay? This is what it is. It's progressive capitals on Spaceport Sigma. We've been here a million times. There's blizzards, there's no fog. So far, so good. This is true random. Now, I know there's a lot of people that are gonna say, boo, true random, I hate it. But trust me when I say on this map with these settings, I have had some of the most funny games, uh, just some absolutely incredible stuff. And I hope that we get another classic right now. So I haven't published anything on this. I've just been kind of secretly enjoying it. So here's my super secret settings that I'm just putting out in the world because I think it's really fun. And the fact that this is true random is going to mean two things. At the beginning of the game, what it means is we're going to see a lot of silly stuff. People are going to blunder, you know, entire stacks and like people are not going to realize and think it's balanced blitz or just not understand. So there's going to be a lot of silly noobery at the beginning. But then if you make it to the end game with anybody, the caps in, bal in, uh, in true random actually will defend realistically, unlike balanced blitz. And I've just been kind of noticing it. So you will lose about one and a half to two times anytime you hit a capital so anybody that's used to balance splits and they're used to rolling a 40 on 40 and getting like a clean hit on it or whatever or you go 80 on 40 but you only lose 40 troops that's a lot less likely to happen and i've just been i've just been having fun doing this okay that's fine that's fine that's fine joking hazard <laughs> i'm gonna be the biggest hazard you've ever met so i know that if i slam this five i should expect to lose basically all my troops rolls are very brutal and uh so is white's cap did white have to go there why didn't white why don't you go over here like white had this cap <laughs> to play for this bonus or like that's fine uh they will dominate this side of the pocket but white does not have access to this side of the pocket so there's going to be some massive, massive noobery when it comes to these settings. Um, so I'm going to, you know, have to play around what white is hoping to do here. So I will knock white out of here. Uh, I will attack one more time. It's true random. So this is a risk. I lose one. That's not so bad. So I'm coming back with an eight cap. So if they try whatever they're going to get, they're going to get an extra troop. Plus they have 12 territories. So hopefully somebody gets them under 12. Uh, but territory is four plus the cap is six plus extra troops seven. So they can do a 12 on eight. There's like no way that that should work. But we'll see how it goes. I was expecting to play a noob game. I just didn't expect the noob would be next to me. How could I have predicted the noob would spawn next to me? Somehow the noob's fine to me. Many have called me Johnny Noob Magnet, the way that all the noobs always find wherever I am and they always want to fight me. Well, there's so many other people you could be messing with that you could maybe actually beat. You're not taking me down, not today, Joking Hazard. It's just not going to happen. Green is working on this bonus. This is Visey. It's German, right? Or no, this is Belgium. I don't know. Visey? I don't know how to say it. But Green is working on uh, the Launchpad C which is interesting because then if they get this, they can use this to come get this bonus, the plus six behind them and get very strong. Purple takes a little bit of high bay, unheated frit. Here comes the noob slam. Perfect, I need that cap. Cool, I need that capital. So if you could do a little bit more of that. Green is shocked, like they've never seen anybody roll a cap before. <laughs> Obviously white's intention is to steal my capital, but uh, they failed. Wow, shocking. <laughs> wow, and then they quit, beautiful. Cool. So that's the end of them. It's very likely that Orange will take it, in which case I need to get Orange out of here ASAP, <laughs> just so that Orange can't get this bonus behind me. Maybe Orange just focuses on Noob Corner. Who knows? Um, ugh, minor setback. I like to play with the uh, added difficulty. Red is really fast. Okay. Hunting you. Oh my god, that is scary. His name is Hunting you, and he is—he moves very fast. So he's, he's given away that he's a strong enough player. Uh-huh. Does orange take? General Jaw? 
Are you gonna take this? They don't take it. Well, they just add one here and they take it. Okay. So what I believe that uh, I should be doing here is making sure orange gets removed from here. Orange is gonna get at least seven. They're gonna get more because they have 12. I'm expecting them to get eight on their next turn and then 16 on whatever me. <laughs> it seems likely to happen. Um, I mean, all right, let's hope that we can get orange out of here. I just want orange out. Because then orange cannot get that bonus behind me. So that worked out well. Okay, we'll reposition these guys here so that they can get out. Green can be behind me because, well, actually green could be a menace behind me. But why would they add behind me? I don't know. Maybe we have infinite trading with green in every end game. So green is just minding their own business, snowballing away. Awesome. Well played them. Oh my god, they just they get somebody out of there as well. Well played. Unless purple is going to go in, then they're totally fine with that. Unless red or purple messes with them, which seems unlikely. Purple is just focused on high bay over here. So I'm expecting them to hit this too and maybe do a bunch of other stuff over here. And uh, it's quite likely we have a 16 on 8. And orange has another capital. Purple adds behind the noob corner. Amazing. <laughs> And they remove orange from there. And they remove orange from around them. Purple hates orange because purple is in, in close enough to the noob corner that they're just going to get in a fight. Okay, perfect. So we like where purple's head is at. 16 on 8. It could happen. Maybe black gets it too. But uh, I think I think it's important to get orange out there before he, he gets in there. Uh, red also decides to just walk into the noob corner. Of course. What else would you do? Try to go for this bonus? Don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> so orange is going to be like, well, I'm never getting the noob corner. I might as well try to get this cap. I could see him saying that. So here comes the scary turn. He's at 10. So he got under 12. So he gets, what, 7? 6, 7? What is he getting? I'm not going to do the math. He gets 7. 15 on 8. Do we see it? I guess we do. All right. So good job. White has made it. So then now this happens. No, okay. He's not doing that. Okay, orange maybe gets trapped behind me eventually, but he's not going for the cap roll, so that is pleasant, I guess. I'm going to need to buff my cap, but then maybe this is a bonus. Maybe this is a bonus that I can take at some point. Not sure. I have a lot of territory, which is kind of cool. I'm going to just massively buff this capital, though. So let's take a card here and just really, really, really stack that capital. <laughs> I do not want to lose that capital. This will put pressure on orange to defend here. But my top priority is not necessarily winning this orange cap. Green is just, like, gonna snowball. So I get third. Green just wins, kills everybody, and then orange is trapped behind me. So, you know, <laughs> so I get I get third. Uh, is it, it might be too early to, to start thinking about the game being over. But no one's gonna interrupt. Everybody's gonna fight for this. At least, at least red and purple are gonna fight for this, which makes no sense. It's behind the orange cap. We need to be worried about green. But as it often happens, people are not uh, terribly concerned about the balance of any given game. They usually only focus on trying to get their area of the board, which obviously is something that you do want to do early on. So red could add behind green, but I would doubt it. Red could break green, but I doubt it. I bet red smashes everything out of the noob corner. Just adds literally everything here and smashes it, and then we'll see if orange breaks them or what. It is remarkable. If he takes this out with amazing dice, he is absolutely 100% going to do it. <laughs> uh, you should take out the four first. No, you should just get insane dice and do it however you want to do it. Okay, beautiful. Is orange going to mess with red? How is orange going to play this? Stacks up. Red is 100% going to slam orange at some point. There's literally no doubt. That's obviously going to happen at some point. Uh, orange is going to add everything here and what? Slam red? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have a hard time defending everything. Okay. He is going to try to defend everything. He puts. He's more worried about me hitting him than red. That's crazy in my mind. <laughs> I think it's way more... Ah, oh, it goes around the corner and breaks. So orange is more... He put more troops to defend against me, knowing that he was going to do three attacks on red. So really, that means he, like, insanely, insanely hates me. You know what I'm saying? He just insane hates me. I'm going to grab, like, a bunch of territory. I think I can just have a territory grab turn and forget orange. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's bring this guy up to the capital. I'm going to try to take this bonus in here. I mean, why not? Green now uh, can possibly get all of this. 
I don't know. He's got to split and hit a couple twos. True random hitting true twos can be kind of a, a landmine. But he gets all the humans out, and he takes a second bonus. So congrats to Green on winning the game. We'll all be just fighting for the noob stuff, and you can just carry on. Just go ahead and snowball. We don't care. Just whatever. Man. Yeah, take this bonus next. Okay. Uh, so the problem is Green. There's no way I'm going to get this bonus. This was just to grab some extra territory. I'm at 15, which probably I keep. I don't know who would hit me. Maybe Orange randomly takes a card or something. Uh, hopefully Purple gets high bay soon. They're not going to do it yet. Somebody's got to be strong to fight against Green. And what usually happens when somebody caps behind, now in like the middle game like this, I can't contribute to fighting whoever is snowballing. The balance like breaks. When you cap behind me, it breaks the balance and it prevents me from helping fight against whoever's big. That's essentially what happens. Uh, so <laughs> I guess I will not be fighting Green because I, I got slowed down at the very beginning. And that's the way she goes. Um, we'll try to come back. Seven for orange. Is he going to break red at some cost? So in my mind, we all need to band together and fight green. I don't think you need to fight. I mean, red might be a noob, though, that's going to fight you back anyway. But really, we need to fight green because green has double bonus. <laughs> and you guys fighting each other just means you're both going to die and green is going to snowball. So that's my feelings on it. I'd rather not turn in. I could skip and try to get the biggest trade. There's five players left. Someone's already turned in. I'm going to take a card. I don't think green will add behind me, but I'm just going to take a card. And I guess I will knock green out, even though this, you know, infinite trading and whatever, but the guy's going to snowball, so I don't know. Uh, at some point, I need this orange cap so that I don't get last place. Yeah, he's just... Nobody's going to stop this guy. This is insane. This is... <laughs> nobody's going to stop that. He picks up another bonus. There's no way to stop it. Nobody can now. <laughs> We'd all have to be working together, but that's not what's happening. Purple is going to take... Hi, Bay. I'm not going to... I'm not going to hit you. Maybe Red will. Okay. Purple takes and defends Hi, Bay. Gets a bad roll, but they do get the bonus. They also end their turn pretty quick. Black is going to retake Noob Corner. Orange is going to slam them. Those guys are both going to die very soon. Okay. Orange is already turned in. I mean, I'm not taking that cap yet. I'm not hitting the 14 cap yet, but hopefully soon. In order to preserve second place, I need to take Orange out of there. Orange is just going to focus on all of his attention on hitting red. It's really good dice. Maybe he gets perfect dice on the other six. All right, so he's going to run around and do it, and then red is going to cap slam orange, and it's just, <laughs> it's just all silly. Yeah, 14 on six. You've come this far. You're not going to hit the six. All right, so red gets to stay in there. I get to turn in. I am going to have green removed from this bonus. I understand that I could have traded in the, the dudes, but I'm just removing green from here because he's very big. I don't want him behind me. As long as he's in here, he can kill Orange before me in a lot of situations. So he turns in and he starts with 26. I don't think there's... It's This game is going too fast to be able to slow down Green. Okay, so he's taking more bonus. He probably shouldn't hit the red cap, but maybe he does. It's really bad odds because it's true random. <laughs> so he's going to sit with the 24. Uh, he does go back to cap. Just a little bit. Just a little bit back. He's going to put 14 on cap. He's going to keep a matching 15 or what? All right. Red is... Everybody's near death now. <laughs> so I just have the strong cap. No, I was wrong. I thought he was going to put six more on the cap. How silly am I? It seems fine. Nobody's messing with that. Purple's going to take a card against red, perhaps? Okay. Making it easier for somebody to kill red. Purple and I have like a mutual shared kill guard on red. Unless they hit that. So let's see where they go, okay? But holding high bay is good. Maybe that gets Green's attention. But they're also kind of newbie. They picked a noob cap. Eh, they're defending kind of noobishly. They're just, you know. Purple is, I don't think, going to be strong enough to fight against Green if it's ever some sort of possibility. Red doesn't take. He goes back to his cap, and he's finally like, hey, you know what, Orange? Maybe we should fight Green. <laughs> Did you finally, like, you finally have come to this 
Uh, if I have a turn in, maybe I can take this cap. I don't have a turn in. All right, I guess I'm not taking that capital. Ooh, tough roll, true random, yeah. That's brutal. All right, orange suffers a massive setback. Red thinks it's funny. Funny that we're all gonna die, huh? <laughs> it's pretty funny. I'm sure green is laughing hysterically right now. Tries the two on one. Oh yeah, get that noob corner. Tough break, tough break. Red gave you noob corner, but your dice were bad. Hit me, why would you hit me? Leave me alone, orange. We got nothing to do with each other right now. Uh, don't have a trade in. We'll remove orange from here. Just forget orange. <laughs> yeah, and then, then I'll, when I have a turn in, I'll try to take all of this. As long as I get orange out, and orange will be busy taking noob corner. As long as I get orange out of here, then I, you know, don't necessarily get last place, but maybe. We'll see what kind of roll I can get. There goes the red capital. It should be like, I mean, green should win it, but not necessarily, you know, super 100% win it. Like he might win it, but then lose all of his troops hitting something like this. So yeah, eh, you could try it, but it is very risky. And green is just in the winning position. So why risk anything? Purple has high bay. Turn in slam green. Seems very unlikely. They're going to go into the noob corner or what? They're just going to stay right there? Yeah, Orange has a lot of problems. <laughs> this cap's not actually helping Orange. He should be happy that I take it off his hands. Hopefully Red has a turn in. Otherwise, Green is going to steal your cap on the next turn. Also, good luck getting a card. I mean, you're, you're not given very good options here for cards. Don't know what you're going to do if you're red. <laughs> try to take a card out here. You're going to try to hit a two. What are you going to do? Very difficult. You can add behind here to try to get a card. He's going to try to get a card in noob corner. Let's see which way he takes his card. Does he go deeper into orange? Yeah, forget that guy. Okay. Does orange have a turn in? So orange might not be able to get noob corner. Two pretty weak capitals. Watch him turn in and defend against me. He, if you want second place, this is your capital. <laughs> if, you, if you want second place, you got to defend this with your life. And I'm a scaredy cat, okay? I'm going to wait till I can take all of this, like, comfortably. Oh, my God. He's removing black. He's trying to feed black. What is he doing? He is defending the second place cap. No, he just puts five back there randomly that I'm going to have to hit. He's trying to feed red, I guess. Green can already kill red. So could purple. Who are you def Who are you feeding this to and why? <laughs> why are you feeding red? It would have to be to purple. Purple could have already gotten that. I don't know. I don't know, man. But I guess now I'm comfortable to come in. Oh, I don't have a trade. Look, let's take this risk. This could be bad. That's pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Um. All right, so let's not take that right away. Ah, let's wait one more turn and then we'll try to take that. That nah, seems good. That seems good. Seems fair. It seems good. I'm happy with it. I guess orange will take it back, but then I'll have a trade in to actually do something. Red thinks it's funny, but I'm trying to protect second place before I try to play for a win, okay? I don't know if you've ever played chess, but first you must equalize before you can play for a win. So green is going to steal this cap, possibly stealing both of my caps, and then my game is over. Okie doke. <laughs> if he steals that 15, I guess my game is over. But he's not going to kill me. Okie doke. Purple thinks it's funny. Orange thinks it's funny. It's pretty funny. I see the humor. Now green can easily probably kill red at some point. Red's saying good game. You know, I, nobody's killing me. Eh, uh, what is it? What on 28 am I doing? Nah, we'll just live behind green and hope that we get second place now. Yeah, this is not the kill on orange. Unless you're sending some in. Purple goes into green valiantly. Look at that. <laughs> Purple slams into green now. Why now? I don't know. I don't think I can get this 15 cap. I don't think I can get any of these caps. I can't kill red. Yeah, go break them again. Teach them. Teach them. Get green to want to go fight you. Yeah, forget them. <laughs> Two on one. Oh, yes. 43 on three, and then go back somewhere random. Open up the green stack to see what happens. Good luck. Yeah, go kill them, green. Forget them. That was rude, bro. 
Ah, they don't even... <laughs> they're gonna defend. They're gonna double defend against green. Great. I love that. Take this red. Do something over here. Feed me orange brilliantly. <laughs> so I guess I go try to kill orange, huh? Yeah, forget orange. We hate them. <laughs> I might not die next, but I might. You never know. Purple's angry and upset, as they should be. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Hit it. All right. We'll see how orange responds. I expect that they'll take over noob corner. Okay. Orange is fighting against red. Me, I'm fighting against all the odds. Is green going to kill me next? Probably. Can I set up to... I know exactly what to do. I know exactly what to do. Hang on. I have a plan. I have a brilliant, brilliant plan. All right. So we go here. Then we do this. We open red and feed them orange so that orange dies before us. Brilliance. Brilliance. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> now red can go kill orange and we can get better placements. A brilliant play. Uh, I guess green is going to take all of this, and then somebody can actually kill me. I don't think they're going to keep me kill guarded behind them. I think they're going to take everything. They might even hit white just randomly. They're going to remove all of me. Okay, so now I'm killable. Yep. Okay, so they're going to feed me. <laughs> now I'm actually possible for other people to kill. Okay. Well done. Figured they would have kept me in there for, for later, but nope. Green says good luck. I guess they're talking to me. They're going to come kill me next. I don't know. Or they're talking to Purple because Purple's about to slam them. I do have a trade-in. I do have a trade-in. Just need to get back on a capital and we're all good here. I need the orange cap. Orange is quit. Okay. Now I don't know if red is going to hit them. So we did defeat orange. Look at that. We have now secured fourth place. Not, uh, not perfect, but we're dealing with it as much as we can. Purple is the only one gutsy enough to fight green. So far, green hasn't done anything evil to them. I'm assuming red takes noob corner, and then you know what? Good for them. Take noob corner and take take everything, dude. Just take everything. Yeah, tongue sticky outy is correct. But green is going to, like... Oh, I'm turning in. I can actually just no card and stay out of the way for a minute. What fun is that? Let's take cards valiantly. Okay, so red can have that. He also takes this other bonus. Nice. Nice. Well played. <laughs> Purple likes it. Yeah, I like it too. I like it too. I think it's beautiful. So red takes a bunch of bonuses. So green is not like snowballing. They still probably kill me soon. But well done. Uh, we turn in. Let's go. We turn in. And then we just take this bonus. Okay. We take this bonus, and then we line up to eventually take those cards on orange. Let's go. <laughs> this might be in green's way. Maybe green to go fight somebody will want to go through me. But maybe I'm going to... Maybe I need to be there. Is this for me? Oh, it's for purple. Let's go. Maybe I can get the purple cap. It's the weakest one at some point. Let's see how much damage green's able to do. So I'm somehow surviving without a cap. That's my new, uh, that's most of my content these days. Is <laughs> me not having a capital. But, you know, you can understand why I had to hit orange when I had to hit him, you know? Hit that cap, hit it, hit it. Come on, go get it, you deserve it. Does purple turn in and mess with green? Can they mess with green? Well, they're gonna try to take back high bay. Just defends their cap. No, keeps up. Uh, keep up the attacking. Green has thirty-eight territories, which is obviously quite substantial. Um, we're gonna have to be nice with red. We're gonna have to give red cards somewhere. We can do that. We can be nice to red. I'm not gonna box red in. I'm gonna be nice. Assuming, let's see if he's nice to me. Uh, he's gonna go for the orange cap. No way. Dang it. I need that. I need the capital. <laughs> he loses 48. 
Um, okay, so he really wants Noob Corner. It's very understandable. Okay, you can have that. I don't I don't care. I'm just, I'm not trying to be your enemy. Okay. That's completely fine. Completely fine. Which cap is going to be most likely that I can eventually get? He's going to defend. All right. That's fine. I get to hold my bonus. Cool, cool, cool. All right. And we're going to move out of everybody's way. We're just out of the way. We just got a bonus. We're out of the way. We are taking cards. But we're we're not fighting anybody. Green shouldn't turn in and kill me here. It doesn't make any sense. I'm up to 92 troops. So we're surviving. Okay. We got a stack here. If you if you put into this stack, if you turn in and you hit this stack, maybe there's some chance that you blunder a cap. I don't really want the red cap. Cool. Green is buried to me, and I love that. White dies. I also love that. Green picks up zero cards. I think he just wants that bonus. Okay. So I'm the only dummy floating around without... Uh, <laughs> I'm the only dummy floating around without a capital right now. Okie doke. So we prevented green from stalemating at an extreme cost. I'm I'm certainly feeling that it's a bit extreme. But if these guys don't kill me, and why would you? A hundred something troops for the 55 trade? Why would you? You'd be a fool. Yeah, hit that, hit that please. Come on, break that capital and give me a cap somehow. <laughs> somehow I need that capital. But purple's not afraid. Like green is on five cards. Purple's not afraid to do evil things. But they are wise enough to put everything on their capital. So well played to them. Uh, a lot for red. I wouldn't be too surprised if he just goes for all of this. He might break my bonus, because, I don't know, just maybe he hates me. I was near the noob corner. For one turn, I was close. He takes the bonus. Right, 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 right. You open me up, and you go on your noob cap. This is the cap that I'll be aiming for. Yeah, he just takes the bonus. Yep. Just take the bonus. Beautiful. I don't need cards. Don't worry about little old me. <laughs> I'll find a card. I'll hit green. Don't worry about me. That's fine. That's fine. Um. All right. Let's take a card over here, I suppose. And then just move over here. Okay. Let's just move away. <laughs> just taking a card. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Continue to fight purple, please. <laughs> Knock purple out. Yes, yes, yes. Get a horrible roll. Get a horrible roll on this. Give me this capital, please. Do it. Something. I need something. <laughs> okay, bad roll. Worst roll in true random history. Bad roll. Oh, great roll. Fantastic roll. Hits me as well or no? Leaves me alone. Yeah. Never mind me. Never mind me. <laughs> he is going to defend that. Okay. Uh, so red is caught between everybody. Hopefully red hits this and breaks him. He's leaving a bunch here. I need to get this cap back, I guess. So it's time to be serious. What would be serious, though? Just leaving a stack here and being like, hey, I'm going to take that. Purple takes a card against red. Cool. Love it. Love it for me. Um, I make it to another turn in. <laughs> I guess I'm going to take my card and I'm going to stack here and be like... <laughs> I need that capital. I need that capital. It's only fair that I get one too, you know? So because purple took a card, red sees it as war and red breaks purple, perhaps. Yeah, red interprets purple getting a card as war. Mm-hmm. Not as you had to get a card, so <laughs> whatever. Purple was like, had to take a card, but then was nice to red. So that's, uh, that's going to make it quite curious. 65. All right, maybe we can bully green out of this capital. Who knows? Let's try to let's try to aim over here. Like we're gonna take this capital back. Green will probably defend it. If he defends it, then I guess there's nothing I can do. <laughs> he does defend, and then what breaks me? Yeah, okay. Kindly gives me a card. What a nice guy. I appreciate it. Okay, hits me quite a lot. Gives me cards. All right, that's fine. Okay, so green gives me cards. What a nice guy. And he goes back right here, right? No, he lets me break him. Wow, he's very trusting. Yeah, you defend that capital. If you defend that capital, I guess you're not a grandmaster. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. So purple is at war with red, which gives green time to fight me, unfortunately. So this war is probably not going to work out for me. Yeah, purple's going to insist on war. That's a bummer for me. 
Hmm. But green gave me a card, so that was kind of nice of him. Okay. So I need to stay out of green's way so he's confident to go fight somebody else, I guess. Yeah. Red's just going to stay at war with purple. Okay. So this can't work out well for me at all, right? How could this work out well for me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, this is my opportunity to get a card. Okay. We didn't break green. We are blocking red. <laughs> We're blocking red. We're hoping that somehow purple slams red and we get something going on over there. Green will want to kill me here at some point, but we've been as nice as we could. Look at that. <laughs> he goes for the red cap. All right, so we're all kind of working against red, so red should die next. Okay, green goes all the way back. Okay, all right, so I guess we can be nice with green, kind of. Mildly nice. We might not get fourth place here. We might get something higher. Um, okay. So I guess we aim to in the future take this cap <laughs> i don't know i'd like to get this cap it would require red to do something silly or i don't know this is the easiest cap to get but there's a 96 in the way so not that easy okay let's see what red comes up with i expect he'll either hit purple or maybe he just bots out if he bots out it's me and purple versus green at least i can trust that purple would fight green Okay, he's just going to slam purple as much as possible. Purple gets five cards. Red's not on capital. Uh, wait, I can just take a card like this. And then let's get everybody into one big stack right here, just in case something interesting happens. Uh, purple's not open, so they can't kill red. Let's see what green does. Green's going to leave me alone. It's awesome. <laughs> as long as I don't, you know, actively stare at his cap, I guess green is going to leave me alone. Not fearing that they can beat somebody that's capless in an endgame, perhaps. Does green break me? Okay, cool. All right, you can have your bonus if I can have mine. It'd be nice if, you know, you gave me a card, though. <laughs> he doesn't go, he doesn't give me, I have to hit the three, I guess. I guess the three is my card. All right, so this goes into red. Red slams purple. I go after red. That's my opportunity. Purple breaks? Nah. Um. So unfortunately for purple... Red to get a card is almost assuredly going in to you. I don't think they're going to hit my 150. Purple does give red cards over here. Okay. So red can get cards. But red is now trapped between me and grain. Okay. Red to make a massive blunder, hopefully. Every time we have a trade, I guess we take it. We don't have a trade. I don't think we'll die, but green with the trade couldn't theoretically kill me. Oh, wait, that's 75. Just <laughs> imagine. Purple gave you cards this time because they realize they can't just take high bay. Purple can't take high bay because that's where red's going to get cards. Um, But I need to keep my stack where it is because people are leaving me alone. So that's my card. Green will be mad because I hit his three or something, but that's, that's my card. 51 for green. Green, uh... <laughs> A lot, dude. That is a lot. I'm sure Green wouldn't mind if I just took one bonus off his hand. I'm sure he'd be super duper mega chill with that. Okay, Green takes a card and chills. Okay. <laughs> Might be fine if things go on forever. He keeps making me hit threes, which I don't understand, but okay. As they see fit. Okay, double hits red. Very nice. We Can we somehow... What would it take to win this game? What does me winning this game look like? I guess it looks like green is just really, really slow and we all just... Everybody just keeps making it turn in to turn in. Okay. Red loves hitting purple. Like, these guys are just fighting and I don't know why they would ever stop. Uh, okay. I'm going to take my card right here and then make one big giant stack. Probably not going to be not be going for this 80 over here. At some point, I might have the chance to, like, kill red for third, but that's not very appealing. 
I'm just chilling, because nobody should be killing me for a while. It would be for the 90 train. So nobody should be killing me. Okay. So green and I have cards down here. Purple and red have cards in here. Let's lengthen the game. When you don't have a cap, you have to play longer games. It's the only way. But I promised you something interesting in the intro. <laughs> we got something very interesting, okay? We got a position where it, it seems all but certain that green will inevitably win. But only time will tell. Somebody will noob slam them. Some, some door of opportunity will arise. Red turns in early. Do something evil. What are you going to do? You're not killing purple. or You're not doing anything. Turns in early. What are they going to do? Green says, if you slam everybody, I'll give you second place. Is that what they meant? Who do they want him to slam? Purple? <laughs> Green wants to work with red to accomplish something. But what? What does Green want? You want the slam? What is happening? Green says, oof, why did you open them? I don't understand. <laughs> Opens up purple. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, green always makes me hit threes because they're evil. If I fail this, I'm breaking your bonus. I just want you to know. My card, my backup plan is I'm taking this card. So stop making me hit threes. 51 for grain. Let's see if we can figure out what they're what they're all about here. Red could be the most easily card blocked. Green could just leave a stack here and purple can leave a stack here. We could all like work together and card block red pretty easily. Let's see what he does. Go slam into purple. Five cards. Maybe, maybe you can kill purple for five cards. Ah, uh, goes for me. Ah, uh, takes a card and passes. Okay. Keeping this strong. So it looks like they are eyeballing a kill on somebody. But it's, it, actually, this is genius, because it's aimed at me and everything else. If I do run and hit this cap, this can come and deliver some justice. So this cap being wide open is really good. And of course, they're going to make me hit a three, because they're evil. <laughs> All right. Card block, red. Okay, red gets card blocked. This is not like, um, also this card blocks purple. <laughs> purple card blocking red, card blocks purple. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. So purple's next card will open up red. Red will slam purple. I will go directly after. I'll optimally get the kill and life will be good. Red sets up to slam purple. Put it all over here. Slam them. Just barely fail. I double kill red and purple. I outplay green in a worse end game. Oh man, it's all coming together now. Red has been card blocked. <laughs> maybe he puts it all against me. <laughs> maybe he maybe he aggresses me or something. Who knows? I'd run away. I'd be scared of you. I'd be scared. If you aimed it all at me, I'd be scared. Aim it all at purple, though. Forget purple. All right. Purple will open you up. That's part of the plan. We always trade in because we don't have a cap. And things are about to go down. People will... Some silly stuff is about to happen. Okay? Green's got easily double my troops. 51 total for grain. Well, they should just take a card and chill one more turn. And then if purple takes a card, maybe we see the red noob slam. This green gives me a card, not purple. Now there's double card block opponents here. So I guess if you're purple, you give them a card and go back to cap and you pry. If you're not taking cards, you're doing it wrong. So I would take and I would go all the way back and I just pray that red wants to trade. <laughs> Uh -huh. I think that's the perfect play for purple. And now we'll see how red does it. If you're red, you could go here, pop, and then I'm sure purple will want to trade in the bonus. I don't know how red sees it. Purple gives red a card. You must be angry, though, at purple. Angry enough to slam into this capital. All right, take your card. Please don't bot out, because that's <laughs> it's the noise. It's just the bot with the giant blizzard stack here. Okay. Cool. So just trade there with purple, and life will go on. Okay. Or break purple. Yeah, trade in their bonus. On your terms. Assert that you're in charge here. Well, purple has cards, so they don't care. Card block purple, kind of. Make purple hit your three. But yeah, keep the war with purple going. Amazing. Amazing. 
Okay. I lost six there. Green, I'm telling you, one of these rolls I'm going to lose, and I am going to break your bonus. So, like, <laughs> you're playing with fire, leaving all these threes here, bro. He doesn't have any other fortifies, right? He should not leave a three here. He should take, and then he should fortify back. That's not going to happen, is it? He can kill me now for two cards. Maybe. He can maybe kill me now for two cards. Maybe. In his wildest dreams. So purple is going to take a card and then be nice to red. And then red is going to card block purple. But purple is going to have five cards. So it's not going to work. These guys are definitely going to die before me. <laughs> I don't know how I beat green at the end of it all. But these guys are definitely going to die before me. Hopefully they do it very slowly. So the trades are thousands and thousands and thousands. Before I have to go into some end game. Okay. So purple has five cards. So don't do anything. It's too silly. Okay, give him a card and go back. Brilliant play. Brilliant play. Let him turn in and then set up the card block. You evil devil. Yeah, 29 stack in there. He left a two. Wait, the nerve of green. He left the two. He is hoping that I fail. Green is actually hoping that I failed this roll. Why would he leave it too? Unless he's hoping that I fail. If I fail, I'm breaking you. He thinks I'm going to hit green. I'm going to... Uh, red, sorry. He thinks if I fail, I'm going to hit red. And then red's going to slam me. I'm going to hit you, bro. Like, what the heck? <laughs> and then he's going to kill me right after. But, like, whatever. <laughs> Why would you leave a two or a three or whatever? Okay. Green takes a card quickly and passes. Hang on. This is my longest game on these settings. So far, every game I've played on these settings, he's going to make me hit a three. Ooh, jerk. Uh, um, every game I've played has been just like noob slam silly stuff. And there is some obvious noobery taking place in today's game. Purple's trying to secure cards for the future. But despite it, these are like intermediate level noobs or something. These are the these are the noobs they warned me against. You make one wrong move, you slam one orange capital, <laughs> it all falls apart. I thought when I hit the orange capital, I was actually going to be clearing this out, including grain, and then I'd be in a much better position. Yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh yeah, these are the noobs we do want to fight. Oh yes, stack on them, baby. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Stack on them. That's pretty decent. But give me a shot at the cap. Let me let me take it. <laughs> Purple, yeah, I think we're like, hey, can we like... Look, the rest of us want to steal this cap and fight green too, you know? Go back on your cap after that. And then somebody... I could have stolen the green cap, right? If red did that and then went back to here, I could have... I could have done it. <laughs> I could have got there. All right, I could have helped. I could have, I could have stolen that cap, and I would have. You weren't thinking far enough ahead, Red. I would have 100% stolen that cap. Come on, man, give me a shot. Purple can hit the 28. Wow. Now nah, purple's purple strong. Purple's the strongest player here. <laughs> In terms of risk strength, purple must be the highest ranked. And they know it's about. Oh my God, no. No. Yeah, okay. Shoo. <laughs> if you hit purple, it just... We don't need the game to break any more in green's favor. It's already broken as much as, as, as needed, okay? Purple is hoping that red gets out of the way. But red's not getting out of the way. He's not getting out of the way. I get to hit a one. Yes. I will turn in early. I get to hit a one. That's delightful. Okay. Yes, yes. Very strong now. 51 more for green. I need the end game. Me versus purple. Yeah, I know. Everybody, purple wants to take this cap. Of course. Of course. Of course. Red is not getting out of the way. We know. Red's a noob. What are you going to do? He wants, <laughs> he's a noob, but he's, I don't, there's no way to force him to get out of the way. He's just going to stay in the way. The only way to get him out of the way is to take him out, but nobody's going to do that. Okay. <laughs> purple wants red to move out of the way because they have five cards and purple is willing to slam into green to preserve you know the chances that we can actually win but red will not move out of the way i think that's what they're trying to say or they're just trying to take high bay i don't know they're like thanks give me high bay and then let's trade in your bonus i don't know maybe purple is just saying that they want this bonus red does takes a card and goes back Okay. 
So red will hopefully slam into green again. <laughs> and hopefully this time get out of the way, but he won't. Red is going to stay here forever because it's how he guards his noob corner. I get to hit a one. Yes. I love hitting ones. I don't lose as many troops. Beautiful. 51 more for green. He's up to 900 troops. That's fine. I could beat this guy down double the troops. As long as it's only double, I'll beat this guy. <laughs> I could go steal this cap at some point. <clears throat> so I would expect to lose 260, right, on a bad roll. And then this 700 would be open to me. I turn in. Should, should I turn in and steal that cap? It does blow the game wide open. Hmm. It does give me the chance. Like, obviously, green will just fight me. Would green come and try to kill me immediately? They may have a trade-in. I stole that gap. Uh, okay, it's becoming more likely that I can. Green has a lot aimed at me, so they're worried about red doing the same thing. <laughs> okay, I mean, come on. We gotta go steal that green cap, right? Like, we obviously need to go steal that. That's just, that's just too good. I have a trade-in. We can steal it. If green noob slams me, they might not even be able to kill me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the time is now. An opportunity. I knew we'd get back in this game. And I'm willing to fight green, whatever. Who cares? I have a good thing going with green. Green fully trusts me. That's why he, he goes off that capital. Uh, yeah, it's going to be mine. And then green is going to fight me. We would anticipate. Oh, hang on. What are you guys doing? Quit noobing around. Okay. Red needs to get a card there with purple. He probably breaks, which is going to open up the purple stack. It might be about to go down, like, down for real, for real. Go back to your cap. Oh, wow, he actually did. Okay. I'm still going to take this green cap, I guess. I mean, it's it's too good a deal. Good roll, please. 145. I'm going to take this bonus. I think it's for me. I think this is my bonus now. I understand this reduces cards that I might have in the future. I don't think... I don't think green should slam me. You can have that bonus. That's fine. <laughs> now we can be friends again. All right, we'll see how green interprets that. I didn't break this bonus. You can have that one. Uh, if you slam that, you're not likely to win. They're going to noob slam me? It's a 500 cap. You're going to bury to me and you let me have this cap. Oh, wow. Wow. Gives me a card. Doesn't break this bone. He doesn't care. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, cool. All right. My good friend uh, Green and I will just keep trading cards, of course. And problems solved. Easy. Maybe he's like, yeah, I'll give it to him. He's, I'll make him hit an 85 just to, just to be mean. But, you know, I'll just give it to him. But he lets me hold everything. So we'll just go back to usual. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to open up his cap. Red decides to break me, of course. Of course, you got to fight against me. I, I do have a cap now, so I'm, I'm dangerous. I'm a dangerous man. Why'd you break me? <laughs> take my bonus back. All right, just take my bonus back. Cool. People want to break me. It's fine. That's what it is. I'll just take my bonus back. You can be over here, Red. What do I care? I don't know what Red wants. Why did Red just run through everything? Kind of random. Green breaks me now, this turn. Sure. Sure, whatever. Green's going to take this bonus now? Okay, yeah, sure. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever you want. All right, sure thing. That's a bonus that's going to get broken. Now that I'm not guarding here, that's a bonus that'll probably just keep getting broken. I don't understand. Are you going to come slam? You're never going to slam me because it's just not going to happen. I don't, I don't really, I don't know what Green's doing. That's fine. You can keep this bonus. I don't care. Everything's fine. I got the kill guard on you, so I'm your best friend. We're, we're friends. We're friends, Wizzy. Come on, man. Come on, Wizzy. You know how we do. We goof. We kid. We take each other's caps. You took my cap, right? Green took my cap at some point. I mean, I took yours back. I mean, we're all having fun. Ah, he's going to come slam me. What a noob. <laughs> he's going to turn in and slam me. He is not necessarily likely to win that roll. Okay. So green is going to just come slam me now. Why, why, why now? 
why now? Why not the last turn? I don't know. Red also has a turn in. They can get a card here on purple or in the bonus over here. So he's going to hit me. He's going to hit me and slam my cap or something. What's the dumbest thing he could do? He's going to break green. Wait, which maybe green was internally guarding against red? Okay. Where's he going? <laughs> What's his plan? Yeah. So everybody hates green. Cool. Guess I'll be taking a card here and chilling out. Cool. Just taking my card. Cool. Green is going to come slam me or what? He has a turn in. This is not enough to win my cap, I wouldn't suspect. But maybe you slam me. This is how it ends. Wow. Okay. It's not likely. Pretty sure that's not likely. Thanks. <laughs> Leaves the 700 there. So some sort of card block against me. That's really strange. So can I let you hold the bonus? Or are you going to slam me? Okay. Purple comes and breaks green. I'm not even green's biggest problem. I'm just the guy that stole the cap. After you stole a cap from me. Uh, purple's going to take this bonus. <laughs> Perfect. Hopefully you hit green too. Hit green while you're over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. Hit the green cap. Hit it. It'll save my life, probably. Uh, okay. That's looking promising. Green should realize I'm not their biggest threat. Green slamming me, they are going to lose. If green slams me, they will lose. If I had a turn in, I would obviously take it. Okay. The red just does whatever, buries their cap to being able to come over here, just in case, you know, green hits me. Now if green noob slams me, red's not open to me for some reason. They're just hitting green a lot. <laughs> green, I'm not your biggest problem. I'm not your biggest problem. Is green trying to card block me? I don't know. Green has another turn in. Maybe they do slam me. But they're not going to win. If they turn in and they slam me, they're not going to win. Purple's mad because I'm not hitting breaking green's bonus, probably. Maybe that's what they're mad about. Okay, cool. I'm not your biggest problem. Purple might be. Is this a slam on purple? Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> purple loses 400 troops. So does green. They both lose 400 troops. You box them in. You're just going back to your cap. Green's just goofing around. He's going to remove red and then go back to cap. And it's, you know you want to. Come on, you've thought about it. You've thought about it so long, just do it. He's saying you better move away. Okay. Uh, they come to a peaceful agreement, unfortunately. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what Purple does now. Purple's just going to run back now. Now that this is aimed at them, I guess Purple's going to connect and go back to capital. Purple will probably get card blocked before anybody else. Oh, they are fighting green. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> so now when I hit here, I'm not breaking green's bonus. They leave like a bajillion there. Oh, they want that bonus. But where am I to get cards, purple? Where? What about me? Give me a card too. What, you're blocking me? I think purple is trying to force me to take cards with somebody else. I don't know. All right. Well, I'm taking a card here. Okay. That's fine. I don't need to access over here. I think that's a ridiculous play because he's aimed at your capital, but I love it. 413 over here for purple. Love it. Uh, red noob slams purple now or something. <laughs> okay, we're in this game. Uh, this is drastically different than any game on these settings I've ever played. Red, no, nah, red just wants that bonus. Red should be the one that gets card blocked now. So, but it would have to be like only purple, right? Yeah, he's not going to go on cap either. That's what red wants. So now everybody's happy. I got a cap. Purple got away from red. Red's got his bonus. Everybody's happy. Purple has a good sense of humor. <laughs> so we, we have a little fun with purple. Uh, we have a little fun with purple because they seem to be making little jokies. So I'm, you know, I'm a funny guy. <laughs> we'll make a little joke like I'm going to break you. Get on. 
I think purple will be my friend and we can trade cards over here. He might interpret that as me saying, you better trade with me or I'm going to break you. <laughs> Not that the bonuses matter that much. Green had all the bonuses in the world and he couldn't win the game. So like it didn't matter. There's still four of us and everybody's getting cards. Yes. Yes. What a dumb play. Yes. Break them. Open that 600, baby. He's trying to kill red. <laughs> He's going to like run all the way around. That is probably the worst play you can make. Red is, He's just baiting red to hit him. I guess green wants to get hit by red and then they're going to come over the top and clobber him. They're hoping red loses like 400 troops and then they can kill him. That's crazy. What an insane play. All right. So I love it. Purple and I now we trade. We're trade buddies. Is purple going to give me a card? I'm going to break purple. If purple doesn't give me a card, I'm going to break them and devil face them and good luck them and good game them and stick my tongue out at them. Okay. Purple is my enemy. Okay. So green is laughing at me. I have so many cards. Like, you're not, you guys are not going to card block me. You do see how many cards I have. <laughs> like, I'm going to take cards on purple. And then I'm going to start doing other stuff. So purple's going to get double broken here. Wow. Red is just slamming purple? Did red think they could... What is... Why? They open up green? What are they... What are you, what are you doing, red? <laughs> I thought for sure red was going to slam into green. Okay. Okay. Maybe purple didn't like my sense of humor. Thanks. Okay. So I would like to trade. You can trade right here. Purple might not want to open up my cap, which is understandable. But if you want to be next to me, you're going to have to take the risk. So the goal here is to just not get card blocked. Just something that can happen so easily and to anybody. I'm really surprised how long this game went, though. I'm very, very surprised. Every game I've played has been less than 40 minutes. Some of them, like, 10 to 20 minutes long. Like, I've just had games where people just are just so newbie. Yeah, forget them. Like, just two or three people just die in the opening, and it's just massive snowballing right out of the beginning. This is like, this is the longest that it's ever been. And I guess it's all because like white slowed me down at the very beginning. If white hadn't slowed me down at the very beginning, like, you know, I would have taken this and then maybe I could have actually snowballed. Maybe I could have fought green. Like a lot of other stuff could have happened. Uh, so if you slow me down, I still win. It just takes me a couple more hours. Take a card here and here, go pop, pop. And then we'll, we can try it. Purple is going to try to card block me. Okay. Wow. So purple is actually fighting me, which is insane because red is fighting them. Uh, why is purple doing this? Okay. Why is purple fighting me? They want me to hit green, I guess, but I don't know. Seems dumb. I don't like it. If we have a turn in, we'll... All right, we're just going to punch purple out. Okay, so purple's not going to be able to have this bonus. Which is strange to me. Don't know why they're doing it. <laughs> I don't know why purple's fighting me. <laughs> but maybe they think I'm not doing anything. Because red is fighting them quite clearly. And then green is the one that's still way in the lead. So why wouldn't they want to work with me? Hmm, maybe you're not as strong, unheated frit. Maybe, they are, I don't know. They don't think that I'm going to break them. But I am. <laughs> okay. This is no longer your bonus. And to let you know how evil I am, 666. Now you know not to mess with me. Green likes that play. Okay, of course you do. <laughs> I mean, but purple's being... I don't know. Purple's trying to card block me and force me into green, and I'm not willing to go there. Hang on. Wow. Wow. What was that? <laughs> Why did you hit both of us? All right, so I'm not that far behind green anymore. Green's just having fun. He's losing his mind out here. So we're not bad on troops anymore. We're in a good position now all of a sudden. Okay. But 
I need to... I'm actually, like, at risk of getting card blocked from my cap here. So purple can be card blocked. Purple is card blocked. <laughs> purple is card blocked. So green card blocked them. But then why did they hit me? Red is going to break green. A lot. Red takes this bonus, but probably doesn't give me a card. Okay. I need a card there. That's where I take my cards. I don't know if you've been watching the same game, but that's where I take my cards. <laughs> this is where I take my cards. Are you watching the same game? That's where I've been taking cards. I don't want to hit you, bro. I don't care if you have the bonus, but that's where I take my cards. I don't understand. All right, so now... Everybody should be able to get cards. Ray can have this bonus. You just have to hit here and give me a card. I will not be closing my cap this direction. I understand you guys are all evilly trying to card block me. But I'm not falling for it, okay? I will keep taking cards here every time I can. Any way that I can. I don't know if purple has a trade-in. If they do, they might not use it right away. You know? But, uh... Oh, no, they do have a card. Purple does have a card right here. So they have one more card if they want to take their fifth card. They might skip for a little bit and take it later. Okay, they take their fifth card. Green, because they hit me, is now not strong enough to kill purple. It's possible if all you wanted to do was kill purple. If you'd saved 200 troops hitting me, you'd have 700. I don't know. Probably still wouldn't work. Uh, who knows what red's going to do. Red takes the green capital. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Green is not going to win this game. Red's going to remove all of green. That being said, I'm going to kill guard green till the day I die. Till the day green dies. Yeah. Leaves green here so that green can break him. And he takes that bonus. Wonderful. And he defends both of them. Beautiful. That's amazing for me. Now we're in a good spot. <laughs> this is great. Okay. So now purple can keep getting cards. Green is on tilt. Green's about to just blunder the game away. We have the strongest cap. We are in the best position, basically. <laughs> not like objectively, but I think I think people are just not going to mess with me now. So I feel like we've accomplished something. We've been kicked around. We've had uh we've had we've had some some ups and downs. But we're grooving. This is why when somebody doesn't have a cap, you should, like, kill them right away. Because, like, this just keeps happening to me every game. I just don't have a cap, and then I, I just get back into the game at some point. Because if you don't die right away, you can you can play without a cap for a long time. Losing your cap doesn't end the game. You can just, you just keep going, just keep grinding. Try to stay out of the way until you get an opportunity. Green doesn't break red. Interesting. Green takes this bonus. So these guys are still going to fight over bonuses. Like, they really matter. He's going to try to block red. But where does purple get a card? You're going to give purple a card too, or what? You can't block red unless you give purple a card. Okay. They're going to try to block me. They're going to try to block me. Green is trying to card block me and red at the same time. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm going to take my card here. And then this is my next card. So purple gives red a card because... so. Explain me this. This is just to keep the bonus, right? Opens up all of red everywhere. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Sure thing. So green is trying to block me, but also this part. Purple just took all... Purple's blocked again. Wait, what are they doing? Why did purple take all the cards? Red can defend against purple. <laughs> Where is he getting his card? Red wants to trade with purple and green wants to card block me. Uh, everybody's going to trade in here and I get card blocked. So I'm in the lead, so I guess they're all fighting against me. Or they're just doing noob stuff. Hard to know the difference. Is this top tier genius play or is this some uh, just a bunch of noobery? Who knows? Okay. I mean, I have a bunch of cards. In a pinch, I have like a ton, a ton of cards. Thanks. <laughs> this is now he's gonna say good game green doesn't like me because i took his cap but like should have defended it i don't know you should have killed me <laughs> you should have killed me when you could okay so green is gonna try to card block me no he does give me a card okay cool he does give me a card he's not trying to block me cool. all right he's not trying to block me so everybody has cards 
sick. I was worried. <laughs> I was worried. In my mind, purple should get card blocked before anybody else. It will require that, like, red and I... I'll have to give red cards here to, like, keep them blocked or something, but this can be arranged. So purple is still respecting red's bonus because they're hoping that red will give them cards. Green trusts that if they mess with me, I will mess back. So I will try to hold five cards because it's very possible. Eh. I don't know. If there's some world, I'm already starting to think, like, if purple somehow took out all of this, would I be able to... Should, would it be worth killing red and getting into some endgame? I don't know. Red is going to keep giving purple cards rather than taking here. If red takes a card here, I'll give him a card so that he can keep purple blocked. Especially if he leaves some stack in here. Red just wants to trade with purple. At least for now. So this is going to prolong the game, obviously. Purple getting cards prolongs things. Um, looks like green is willing to set up a block. But red, I don't know, man. I don't know what red's level is. So green and I are trading. Purple and red are trading. So if this goes on forever, nothing changes. And I don't think there's anything I can really do. Okay, so green says, look, <laughs> if we're not card blocking purple, then I'm out of here. And then they leave a four for me to hit. I'm going to try to hit it. You know that I will. Yeah. Especially with a five trade. I'm just, I'm going in order. I'm trying to make it very obvious what I'm doing. Yeah, hit green. Wow. <laughs> Forget green. <sighs> Purple takes, it hits green a whole bunch. Yeah, we hate them. Yeah, now hit this and bring this stack over here. Nah, green will just take all that back if they want it. All right, purple retreats to the capital. Eh. Uh, it has to be purple, right? It has to be purple. <laughs> How would we card block red unless purple got to, like, live out here? Okay. So it all feels random. <laughs> What's the point of that? I don't know. It all feels random, but I appreciate it. Everybody's got my best interest in mind. All right. So I'll be not doing anything while you guys figure out what the heck's actually happening. It doesn't feel like there's any real card blocking going on. So I'll just stay over here, just getting big and strong. Don't mind me. This is easy mode now. All we do now is we wait for them to make mistakes. I think it's purple that needs to be card blocked, in my humble opinion. It could be red, but only if purple establishes a position far away. Purple is, I still think, the strongest player in this lobby of the three opponents that I have in terms of risk rank. But, um... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to work with them to accomplish anything. Okay, green removes purple. And breaks purple. Gives purple. Okay. Okay, something, some action here. Uh, okay. And then tries to trade with red. And then what? You, you two are the only two that get cards, huh? So that works. Now purple has a trade, so that's a weird time to do it. And then they don't leave enough. They let purple get a card. They could have come off cap to defend against purple getting a card. Also, purple could take a card here. But they're going to take it on green? No, they do take it on red. So it looks like green... Green want, doesn't want to fight. Like Green hates me, right? I think it's pretty obvious green hates me. Green wants to trade with like red somehow and card block me or something. I think that's what is happening here. And red just slams a bunch randomly. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's just going to break bonuses and run around randomly. If he could break my bonus, he would. So he's just going to break green and run around a bunch, given a bunch of cards, whatever. Green gets infinite cards. Cool. Sure. Take that bonus. Break his bonus. Just steal his bonus. Perfect. Green is like trying to work with you to card block somebody, and you're just like, you know what? <laughs> just break this bonus. Uh, delightful. Well played. And me, I'm just trying to maximize the number of cards. So I'm not taking a bonus. That's three cards. The trades are huge. Trades are 225. Bonus time is over. Green had enough bonuses to snowball the game, but failed. They weren't successful. Green gives purple a card. Yeah. Cool. He, he's going back to cap. So his cap is now buried. Green's going to go back to the capital. He's just trying to get those troops out of there. But he's also hitting purple because 
forget purple, or maybe he's a nice guy giving purple a bunch of cards. Delightful, delightful. Okay. Fantastic. How does purple respond to all of this? Takes a card. Purple to play and not get card blocked. They're just going to hit green a bunch. <laughs> They're going to get green out of there. I don't think we're card blocking green. I would be down for it. I would do, I would invest something to try to card block this guy just to teach him. But how would I, how would I get involved in whatever you're attempting to do to green? Put it right here. Nice. All right, red, you just protect both of those. How do we, how do we card block green? It would involve like removing green from here. Red just takes, oh, okay. Then he's got to attack again. Lots of over attacking for no real reason. He's defending his bonus. So red is just taking and defending bonuses. He's not card blocking. He's not doing any of that. Cool. Uh, I have four cards, so I take one more. Always best uh, if you don't need to use the trade to just wait. So we sit and we wait. I have no interest in this cap. I don't really have, once I take this bonus, then red will slam me and give me like eight more cards. It's going to be great. As soon as I take this, Red's, Red's going to steal the whole bonus. So green needs to get a card over here. They're going to hit Red, too. This is all silly stuff. Silly stuff by players that don't know how to card block. So they're going to remove Red, but really... This just means Red is going to have to trade with Purple. <clears throat> You're falling deep into our, our evil hands. Breaks the noob corner. AKA gives Red a bunch of cards. Here's why you don't even defend your noob corner here. Because, like, if green wants to break you just to break your bonus, whatever. Green is trying to card block me, obviously. Okay. You're horrible at knowing what the trade-in is. I'm going to hit that, obviously. Dummy. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm going to hit green. He's really bad. He always puts the wrong number. He always puts a number that's less than the trade-in, which is dumb. It's bad. It's a horrible play. Okay. <clears throat> cool. So the red can get any card. Who knows what they're going to randomly do. They're going to block this cap in. They have to block in something. Okay. Fine. They'll go break high bay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> red is... Red's a card generating machine. He just gives everybody cards. He's going to take the bonus. Let's go. It's just hard for me to conceive that people might try to make these plays because it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, okay. So green wants to mess with me. He should know that I'm going to hit him. We have, I've been doing it every time. Every time you've messed with me, I've just hit you. So I'm obviously going to do it again as many times as you want to do it. So let's hit this guy. Maybe he'll learn this time. Probably not. Okay, I'm going to go back. I would love for people to get more cards here. Go ahead and try to do it again, and <laughs> we can relive this. Add some troops down here, of course. Go ahead, leave a stack here again. Okay, how could we mess with green? Okay, so he just hits purple a bunch. It is possible to two-point card block green, which I, it's a good game. Oops. They're going to go hit me. Okay, so they're going to go noob slam me. They tried to card block me. I broke the card block, and now they're going to... All right, now they're going to come try to kill me. All right, good luck. You're going to lose. I mean, that's fine. I guess you know that. I guess you understand. They're saying thanks. I do have a trade-in, so that'll help. Uh, okay. So green will come try to kill me, I suppose. Who goes after purple, then red? Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Green's gonna give up and slam me. It's gonna be me and purple versus red. Me and purple could work to defeat red, depending on the role. I think what purple should do is have a gigantic stack here. I, you should put like everything over here. You should take this cap. Maybe take this bonus if you really want it. You should put a huge stack here so that after green slams me, you can kill both of us. So I would definitely bring a lot out. Maybe I would leave like a hundred here. I would leave less than that. Okay. They don't bring this out. So after green slams me, purple probably hopefully won't be able to kill me. 
And I'm turning in before green slams me anyway, so that's fine. Uh, I probably won't be able to kill green, but I'm not going to take this card and feed green to anybody else, just in case. Purple's also going to kill guard green, which makes enough sense. And red is going to randomly slam. <laughs> Opens green up. Maybe green will go for this cap or something. Maybe something dumb will happen. I don't know. But I will turn in for a little bit of safety. Okay, I'm going to take this card here. And, okay, now I am buried, but I will threaten to get a card on my next turn. Green might just take a card here and chill, which I guess is the most dangerous thing they can do. And then they're just going to keep trying to keep me card blocked for as long as possible. Eventually we will collide. So hopefully they just slam me. Okay, they're not slamming me right away. Okay. Hopefully red gives me cards. Green is just trying to kill me. Green could have killed me earlier and they just did a bad job. <laughs> they did a very bad job. And uh, every time somebody's tried to card block me, I've fought against it. So I don't know why they thought this would be different. Please slam my cap. Do it now, please. That would be delightful. They're going to wait for one more trade in. Uh, I need to get cards, though. I'm going to get blocked in here. This could uh, this could end up badly for me. Maybe green, maybe green is onto something. Because I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna have to take a card on red. If if red doesn't get my hints, I'm gonna take a card on red, and then maybe red, red and green actually make some sort of block on me. It's quite possible. If I hit red here to get a card, it's very possible that he uh, does defend against me. I will request a card. Okay, purple's chilling and waiting. Okay, they are breaking this bonus. They clear all of this out. Let's see if they take this whole bonus now, meaning that they're not kill guarding grain. They are. Okay, so they are taking this whole bonus now. Maybe, if 15 is enough. Okay. So they are trying to get the bonus. And they want to bring the 58 back. Cool. So they remove grain from there. Awesome. Red. Thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> Please give me a card. Uh, hopefully red gives me a card. They might not want to open up my cap, but I'm going to want to trade here, regardless of whether that makes you try to kill me next or not. That's where I'm going to try to take a card. I feel like I'm trying to communicate, but these people don't understand what I'm asking for. <laughs> That's been kind of the story of the whole game. I'm not speaking on the same level as these guys. Okay, gives purple a lot of cards, opens up the cap. What a nice guy. Just strange, weird play. I'm asking you for a card. You just give purple like a thousand cards, whatever. Uh, it's fine. Okay, let's see if red wants to friendly. If you want to take and then take here, that would be delightful with me. i just trying to get cards. You can understand that I'm blocked. You see my situation, yeah? The faster green slams into me, the better in my mind, so that I can just move on and get to the next stage of the game. Green has quits. Okay, they just left the thousand here and they quit. All right, I see what they've done. So in 10 minutes, they will go MIA. So they're just leaving that there so that they are accepting fourth place and they are hoping that leaving that stack there means that I lose at some point. Okay. Because now I'm trapped. I'm trapped behind. <laughs> but this also means I can threaten red with everything. If red doesn't give me cards that I want, I can literally put my whole stack against them. So I need to get this cap now, which is upsetting. In order to guarantee cards, I need to get this cap. Okay. People are just slamming each other for no reason. I mean, I don't know. Why don't you guys work together and kill me? Because I'm trapped. I don't know. Whatever. So let's see. See how red does it. Hopefully he just gives me a card. Hopefully he doesn't try to block me. It hasn't worked for anybody yet. So far, it's just not been successful. Red's not going to give me a card. Okay. All right. Okie doke. He is going to give me a card. Fantastic. Cool. So red and I can card block purple if we want to. Not that that's what he's going to do. Oof. Oof. Thanks. <laughs> Give, don't leave your eights there. <laughs> don't leave your eight there, bro. It doesn't make any sense. 
Okay. You know, let's leave it the appropriate amounts on this capital. And then uh, call that my turn. Okay, so red doesn't want to trade with me friendly style. So let's do that. This now is a shield guarding me. <laughs> red, we could card block purple if you are up for it. Only if you're up for it. If you don't want to card block purple and you want to just take random cards, that's fine. I will need to be taking this capital then from you at some point. It's going to cost me like uh, every single troop that I have. So... I hope you want to trade with me, my man. I will take all of my cards. I'll take this one if I have to. And then I'll be taking your capital if you don't play along nice. Let's see how purple does it. So I need to work with who I think is the lowest ranked player in the lobby. Who is now probably mad at me because I broke a bonus. But I'm mad at them because they're not giving me cards. More important than anything is getting cards. Purple is, in my mind, taking away very valuable cards that they might need if somehow <laughs> we can work collaboratively uh, with the other guy. Alternatively, the other play, of course, is to actually just slam, just kill grade. And then just at a cost of a thousand troops. Just lose a thousand troops. And then play 300 troops against these guys. Do you think they would kill me or do you think I could make it all the way back? <laughs> do you think they would just fight each other because I'm so weak? All right, I think, so red is blocked. So purple, but I can't trade with purple. And by blocked, I mean he has one card. Okay. I think purple would work with me, but they cannot. So I will give red cards. I could card block red, but I don't see any reason. I'm a friendly guy, I just want cards. That's all I've ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is cards. Red's gonna start super buffing this cap. Green is back. Oh my God, he came back. He cheated. He's a cheater. Okay. Green has cheated and now will beat me. Gumbag bought out. Okay. So green has cheated in order to defeat me at a game of risk. How low you've sunk, green. How low you've sunk. Must cheat to win at risk. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's me trade in here, I suppose. Interesting. I guess they're keeping the kill guard on me, and I guess they're gonna kill me now. That's a shame. Okay, green cheated, but now they're gonna be me. I didn't. I didn't realize they came back. Well done. Truly a a good way to end today's game, huh? Okay. Red is gonna trade with me. Nah, red's gonna give green cards. Red's gonna hit me and green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well done, Grin. Wizzy. Well done. Well done. You left with the intention that uh, maybe I would make a play like what I did. But well done. You thought it out. You were like, if you were that smart at risk as you are at cheating, you would <laughs> probably be so good, dude. <laughs> only, only you could play as well as you cheat. All right. Well done. So I suppose you'll be turning in and trying to kill me. That would be my guess. Suppose we'll find out. All right, let's see if we can get a card over here. Nope. Okay, get a card over here. We'll keep green boxed in. Maybe purple will help. Maybe green won't die, but I suspect they're turning in and they're gonna try to kill me and fail <laughs> humiliatingly. And then hopefully purple kills green before they kill me and we get Third place, I guess. So I could have kept troops on cap there. If I knew green was coming back, obviously we just defend our cap and we keep trying to trade with red, even though red is probably not like willfully helping us. What's wrong, green? What's wrong? Turn in and slam me. You you did it. You, you taught me a lesson. The lesson is, you know, remember that when people bought out that they might come back. That's the lesson. I made a mistake. I didn't think you'd be back. I didn't think this would happen. Okay. What's wrong? You bought an out again? <laughs> Concerned? Has my report already hit the desks? Hopefully SMG is already on the case. I report you once during the game. Hopefully you just, just get him out of here. Kick him out of the game. Kick him out. Get him SMG. That was quick. Good response time. Kick this guy out. Okay. 
Holy cow. What in the world? Wait, what? What just happened? Holy smokes. Wait, what just happened? <laughs> I'm the one that's disconnecting. Oh, he's getting more troops now. Wait, what? What? What, what kind of hack was that, dude? Well, I've never seen something like that. That is an impressive amount of whatever just happened there. Yeah, forget red. Um, These guys are trading with each other. It looks like they're, you know, fighting like noobs over bonuses. But really, top tier. Isn't purple blocked now? Like, what are you doing? You're going to get blocked. So I don't understand what happened there with grain. <laughs> it's amazing. I don't have that many more cards. Hopefully red trades with me. Okay, purple's coming over in this direction. But I never die until somebody gets through green. What is this nightmare? <laughs> red trades with me. Awesome. That's amazing. Takes one card with me and goes back to cap. Purple gets blocked soon. Holy cow. This reset has reset red's brain. He's a grandmaster now. Okay. I love that. So red is now suddenly the greatest to ever do it. it just We're just going to card block purple. It's, that's awesome. Uh, okay, let's just go here. I guess I stay where I am. Doesn't really matter. You can get your card really far away. That's where I would want to get it. So maybe that's where you're going to want to get it. No, green is back now. Okay, so green is back. After getting a bunch of cards, weirdly. Okay, so that means green now is going to come get me. Yeah, purple's upset. I'm upset too. Nobody should be more upset than me now. Took me a long time last time I lost my cap to battle myself back into the game. I don't think it'll be as long because I think green will slam me at some point. So hopefully purple blocks green in. Hopefully that's what's happening here. They're trying to take this bonus. They're not trying. They're trying to fight against red, but red and I are trading right now, so this doesn't make sense. So purple and green are going to trade, and red and I are going to trade. It's always everybody like trading. Okay, they are going to block. They're going to try to block everybody. All right, well, that works for me because red's going to trade with me and, I don't know, green's going to slam into me soon. I got to trade in, so I'm going to take it because green's about to trade in and slam me. Uh, he's going to hit my three. That's fine. <laughs> you know that you can hit the one? It's more likely that you win the roll if you hit the one. You have enough troops. You can hit the three if you want. You can hit the three. Cool, let's go. He's figured it out. Red hits the one. Expertly done. Truly really an amazing play. Okay. Here we go. I got your back, Red. I understand. You want to hit where the three is for some reason. I got your back. I'm going to hit you over here now. And then I'm going to go back. In green's face. Green cannot mess with that. Green can take one more card and do whatever they want. They go into purple. Delightful. It is funny that people don't understand... <laughs> That if somebody, <laughs> how many, how many troops people are going to be getting? Did they turn? What happened there? They got fourteen. How did they get so many troops? They did turn in. Okay, two hundred and eighty-two or two hundred and eighty-two troops. Okay. So purple's card blocking red, but red and I are trading. I need cards, so I'm trading with red. We have to focus on one person at a time. This. Everybody's trying to card block different people, <laughs> so this is not going to work. Purple, like, blocking red is great. I think purple wants red to take cards over here, and then, like, I get blocked. I assume everybody's trying to work against me at this point. Why not? We'll see, but I'm tenacious. I'm not giving up. The start of this video was hear me out. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> it is, in a way. If I can come back from this after getting cheated against green, it will be awesome. Oh, gives me two cards. This guy's the best. I love this guy. Red gives me two cards. What a nice guy. So everybody has cards. As long as Red's given me cards, we're happy. He leaves the 10 next to me. Like, why? Like, why? <laughs> you think I can't won't hit a 10? Oh, no, I need to get a card. <laughs> I'm going to hit everything else. For the 300 trade, you don't think I'll hit a 10? Okay, green has to go into purple. Green should never open this up until they absolutely have to. Okay, we'll see mass fortifying to this capital. Why here? Why not the back corner? I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. They got this bonus on lock. The purple and green are trading. 
I know about trading with green. They always make you hit threes. It's kind of annoying, but you just got to deal with it, purple. It's going to be fine. Cool. Purple is going to block green. <laughs> they think green's going to hit this one, but green's not going to hit the one and then trap themselves to me. Green wants to kill me, but they're, it's like just not happening. Red is giving me cards. So as long as red's giving me cards, I'm in the game. Please don't leave a 13 there, though. That's just like weird. Okay, well played. Uh, I'll be taking my card right here. Okay. And let's see what green comes up with. Maybe green legitimately Wi-Fi'd, but I'm not sure. It felt it felt scumbaggy at the time. And maybe it was. But I was in a pretty good position. Yeah, I hit the big stack. Yeah, I hit all that. Cool. So they weaken themselves. Severely. And then they go all the way back. So now purple can block green and probably should. Purple can use their turn in and sit here with the giant stack. But be smart. Check the trade-ins. Understand they're going to get like 300 troops. And they have one bonus. So you want, you want like 50 more on there. Just put the 79 on there. And there you go. There you go. That's how you card block green. Now you got it figured out. And if green slams into me, great. I wish they would. I really, really wish they would. I don't have a trade-in, but I shouldn't need one. Green's going to get like 300, so they're not going to be able to kill me by hitting They might just slam into me, but they can't kill me. If they do slam into me, I guess they feed themselves to purple. At least there's like random 15s and 14s. Do they stay stacked against me, or what do they do? No, they accept this. Okay, so with four cards, they accept this. Okay. Purple has a lot of this board. <laughs> Purple has a lot of the board. Purple's so happy right now. Okay. They keep that guy blocked. And they, they put a lot of troopers over there. But now purple is going to get blocked at some point. Because they are going to get blocked at some point. <laughs> so purple only has a few more cards. So I guess if green just waits... Like, purple will be blocked. And then green and purple will both need cards, and they'll start trading with each other. I'm not going to, like, suddenly stop trading with red. I need red. Red Red has figured out that we can get cards here. This guy's the best. We need red. Uh, Like, it's possible I could, you know, trade here with green. We're not, we're not trading with green there, ever under any circumstance. Okay. Purple takes another card here, and then it gets a little bit complicated as to where purple gets cards. Because then they're going to take their next card here, but then they have to do some splitting, and maybe green has a trade-in that they're hiding. Who really knows? Purple defends gateway AC. <laughs> okay, these settings without fog... This is why you play with Fog. I'm just saying for the record. I know there's a lot of people that don't like Fog. And I'm not minding this. This game is fine. This game is actually fine. I like these settings even when it gets a little bit stale like this. But I'm just saying this is why most of my videos have Fog. Because it does prevent this kind of stalemate. Where you have three players that I would say are maybe intermediate. Um, from stalemating the game. So hopefully purple takes and splits, but then green is hiding a trade and green turns in and blasts purple randomly. Split or gives green a card. Are you trying to work with green or are you still fighting them? Because at some point you also will be needing cards. Uh, is it frozen again? Oh my God. Wait, what's happened? Is it frozen again? We've been playing so long the game is frozen. Okay. So purple is going to take at least two more cards, but then they're going to have to open up green. Right? Because they can't get a card against red. So if I'm in purple shoes, and I'm comfortable continuing to play for hours and hours, which you kind of have to be if you're playing Risk, I think if I'm purple, what I do is I try to make a good relationship with green. Green hates my guts. To the point where, you know, he might do anything that it takes. Anything to defeat me. He'll bot out if he has to. He'll do whatever it takes. Uh... So be nice to green, and maybe green will slam me one day. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I like that purple's doing something. It does feel like stuff has been constantly happening in this game. 
So I'm actually like, okay, posting this. Cause I feel like even though it's a slow, long game, like at least stuff is constantly happening. People are constantly trying to do things to progress the game. It's just not working out at all. Why are you defending this cap every turn? Why are you leaving 13s and 10s near me? <laughs> Leave me alone. All right, do not hit purple. Don't do it. I need cards, you fool. Oh my God, he's gonna go for that purple cap. What a fool. <laughs> Oh my god, he's going for the other purple cap. He's gonna really punish purple here for having 800 troops off capital. Oh my god, red's going for all the caps in the world. Don't make me hit your 700 cap. I'm not ready to lose 14k and then green gets back in the game, dude. No, don't make me do it. Don't make me hit you. All right, well played. Beautiful play. Genius. Now purple can get cards with red. Genius play. He just wants the... Oh, he's going to still card block purple. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so awesome. Because uh, now I can come steal this cap. <laughs> I could. I'm not going to do it right away. But I could, you know, in theory. My dog is going nuts. What the heck, dude? All right. Purple laughs. It is pretty funny. Okay. We'll see how Purple responds to that before we do anything. Johnny Patience Pants has taken yet another card. It's a good thing he's not defending this cap, otherwise I'm actually trapped in here. What if Green comes out now? Green could, like, exploit the fact that Purple's doing this. If I'm Green, I'd probably leave, like, a bigger stack down here, about ready to try to get cards. Um, okay. So now Purple can... Uh, Purple's gonna set up a block again on Red, and then Red will be forced to trade with me. Delightful. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> I'm in such a horrible spot. Like, I'm very easily blocked as well as anybody. Probably if Red left, like, 100 troops on that cap, maybe Purple wouldn't have hit him, but who knows. Okay, whatever. Purple resets up the block with Red, but then Red trades with me. And Red is going to make some sort of newbie mistakes soon. As soon as they get a turn in, they're going to bust through purple and do that whole play all over again. <laughs> and I just slowly wait. I'm patient. I wait. I wait. I wait. I wait. I'm obviously, if red takes, gives me cards, I'm going to be nice with them. I'm going to be mean to red the moment he stops. I don't have a card over here. Cool. Gives me double cards. Red's the best. What a homie. He's not considering, like, I just gave blue two cards. He's not thinking that at all. I don't know why he attacks me twice. I literally don't. Green's trying to be chill with red or me. Uh, not me, dude. <laughs> you're, 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 nope. You are 100% not getting a card from me. Forget you. <laughs> do you. Does this happen to you regularly? Do you do the scumbag bot out strategy and then you ask people to help you and then they do? You've had it out for me since day one. You had a chance to kill me. If you wanted to kill me, you would. You had everything, bro. You were snowballing. What happened? What happened to you? You used to be, used to be the, the guy back in the day. I might be strong enough to kill you, Green. You got four cards. Okay. I'm just saying. There might come a time. There might come a time where it's uh, it's worth eliminating Green. Okay, purple takes another bonus, making Red very angry, fuming mad. <laughs> and they actually defend this camp because maybe Red has a turn in. Okay. Well done. We'll see where Purple's next card is. So Purple and Green are going to end up being friends. Me and Red are friends, but he's not really my friend. He's But he's the noob that's going to help me <laughs> for hopefully a long time. If I stopped getting cards from Red, should I take this Red cap and try to win? Or if I try to kill Green and hope that Red and Purple just fight? You know what I'm saying? Because it is possible. I hit... Green and I lose two thousand troops, right? And I kill them all. And I'm down to like I get a trade in, so I end up and I just I got like six hundred troops on the cap. Why would I not still be in the game with this group of players? Leave it there. Leave it there. Boldly. Boldly. Gives Green a card. Moves away. Dang it. <laughs> Gives Green a card. <laughs> Ah, moves everything down there. Weird. Okay, let's green run out and do something. All right. Green takes a fifth card. If I end up with like 600 troops, these guys are still going to slam each other, right? <laughs> I'm really contemplating trying to kill green. I think it's a great play. Yeah. 
Purple's at this. I'm just trying to think if I had 600, would these guys actually kill me? If these guys, would they do that? These guys, these jokers. Raiden kill green trade. Mm. It is important that green gets worse placement here. Okay. We don't need to turn in now. We let green get their fifth card. Assuming they don't have a turn in. We don't open the red cap. Okay. I guess I could have taken it against green, but maybe green slams me there. Maybe it doesn't matter. Green takes a fifth card. Maybe we kill him. Maybe. Purple already has a thousand aimed at me. Could lose just about everything hitting this cap. <laughs> There's just, I don't even know how many. I can't count this. Okay. This is the danger red of... I only get three troops red, so there's a danger of leaving 10s and 11s next to me. I might have to hit them. See what green does. Bots out. <laughs> Bots out for a little bit. Comes back in 10 minutes. Take your card, green. Take your card. If they take a card and purple, like, ran away, I'd feel a lot more comfortable. Because purple also could have a trade in. I really am thinking about trying to kill green. Just... Because it's important. It's obviously not worth killing green for the 300-something trade. All right, get out of here. Well played. Good move. Good move. Keep purple card blocked a little bit longer. Good move. Great move. All right. Hopefully purple takes this and then runs far away. No, they just take their... That's the better card to take. Well done. But now, if they think green is a bot... Green is currently a bot. If they think green's a bot, they might aim everything at red. And I can kill this guy. If he takes this card too, why? I don't I don't know why. He gives green one more card as an act of friendship for the green bot. <laughs> what do you do if you're red? Looks like uh purple is purple's threatening to kill ya. What are you gonna do, Red? What are you gonna do? I could leave like a stack here to guard red, you know what I'm saying? We'll let purple try to kill red. I don't think they've got it. I don't think they got it. I don't think they got it at all. I'm watching you, green. I'm watching you. Okay. Take my card over here. I think this game is about to end. It's got the feel that it's about to end. I would like to wait 10 minutes for green to officially go MIA before I take any action. Cool. It's really weird the way the bot is doing it, though, right? It feels weird. I don't know. Something seems, like, weird about the way the bot's doing it today. Also, did Purple's timer just, like, go crazy? Am I losing my mind? It's been a long game. I'm, like, losing my mind or something. Okay. okay. So this, you're not going to be killing Red because Red has that other cap. I would like to sit here for 10 minutes to ensure that green gets fourth place. Maybe green doesn't care about their rank, though. Maybe I'm wasting my time. It depends on how much this rank means to green. I bet they I bet they would hate it forever. I bet they'd really learn their lesson if they got last place in this game of risk. Or it would teach them. Okay. Even if I wanted to kill red, I'd have to go through purple. It's possible, but I'm not going to kill red. <laughs> it is, like, possible. It's conceivably possible. Like, I can go through this 1,400, and then it's conceivably possible I can go through purple and kill red. But I want green to get the last place. It matters to me. Rank matters to me. I don't care if it matters to them. Open up the 500 stack. Nah, too smart. Too smart. Good. I hope this takes a while. Uh, now I'm going to do what's called stalling. <laughs> I hope I get reported. Hey, Green, you should report me for stalling. I'm just going to let my timer run. No, I'm not going to I'm not gonna resort to these evil ways. But I want time to go slowly now. I'm okay. I'm relaxed. It's been a long game anyway. Who cares? Um, I, objectively, what I want to do is I want to stall and take 60 seconds and then take my card and get Green closer to botting out if... 
That is what is happening. I want to make sure green goes MIA this time. And I will win this camp when the when I need to. Uh, as soon as you go MIA, I just, like, win this game. <laughs> I'll just close it out. I'll be able to, like, kill red and then, like, win or something. If these guys don't kill each other first. Because red's down to less than a 1,000 troops. I'm just going to get another trade in soon. He's going to put it all into purple. And probably not very effectively. My eyes are on you. Wizzy. Wizzy. Oh, yeah, give me a card, bro. Awesome. <clears throat> Give me two cards. Like, while you're in there, why don't you just give me two? You're a homie. You are a homie. Purple messed with me a little bit. But at this point, it's just green that I consider my my true enemy here. And it gives me great satisfaction that I have bested them. <laughs> from not having a cap twice. I love that for me. You back yet? I will kill you. If green comes back and takes a card, I'm 100% killing him, and I don't care if I get third. I'll be happy. I would be happy if green came back, took a fifth card. I would kill them. And if I somehow couldn't win the game, that's fine. If I also prolonged this game forever by doing it, that would be fine. Okay. Tempting me to kill red. That's now very tempting for me to try to kill red. Because killing red... Uh, wins, because purple's card blocked. Assuming green is a bot. Let's not fall for it again, okay? This is what I've learned from this game. What I am taking away from this game is that when somebody's a bot but they haven't gone MIA, you have to be patient because they might come back. If I were to kill red, you know, and then try to set up some sort of card block on purple, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know green's not coming back. I'm not stalling by not killing red. There's no law that I have to kill red here, okay? You can't ban me for not killing red. Getting the turn in and then killing purple. Can I, purple's got... It's, it is possible. I probably wouldn't kill purple. But I could get a dominant position. You're cool, man. No, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I got your back, dog. I got your back. I don't care how this prolongs the game. I don't, I don't care about that. <laughs> it's not my main mission. Sorry, I was just thinking in my head. I was just thinking in my head. I just want to know if I could kill. I could kill red, you know, and then... I don't know. If I lose 2,000, maybe I'm, like, equal against purple. Let's let purple get this turn in and get this last card. And 62 total troops. Yeah, it's scary. What's purple going to do? Purple's going to take and then, like, full stack on red. And then they're going to slam red. Right? So this turn, they bring everybody out. And now we see if red slams purple. <laughs> I think if red slams purple, I'm going to kill green. <laughs> I think so. Or if purple slams green, I'm going to just kill green first. <laughs> That's why I'm hoping green bots out, because then this is easier. <laughs> this process is a lot easier if green goes truly MIA. Morally, I'm going to do what is morally correct today, okay? I am gonna, I'm going to sit here for a second. I'm sorry if this is stalling and whatever. Hmm. Why have you done that? Um, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that, Red? Now I have to kill you, bro. You're the worst to ever do it. Forget you. You're just a noob. You don't care about your stupid rank. Forget you. Okay. I... I so wanted to do the right thing! <laughs> this was my meta game from this week, too. Was I just wanted to do the right thing. <laughs> and then... And stuff like this keeps happening! Alright, this is a defense against green in case they come back. And it was the red player in that game, too, that I had to betray. <laughs> why is this? Why is this happening to me? Why? I really wanted to kill green. I do not understand red's last move. Okay, green is still a bot. Fantastic. Purple can put everything here. I can get one card against green, which, op which opens up green. So hang on. I really want green to bot out. <laughs> Just go back. <laughs> go back and make sure green dies before you. 
Nah, it doesn't do that. Um, okay. Well. It's like we have to take a card against purple. I'm not opening green until they bought out. I'm stalling, and you should thank me, purple. <laughs> you should thank me for stalling. We could lose everything on this roll. Now we get a very good roll. And that's all I need. I just take one card for now. Uh, they've gone MIA. Okay, now I can now I can do whatever I want to do. And that's all that I want to do. Okay, cool. Now I can bring all these troops up here. Uh, wait, I, I can't cap run because I need the green cap. So I have to actually kill purple, which actually I probably could have done. Yeah, probably could have done it. Okay, we'll turn in and we'll kill purple. Good game. Well played. So green gets third place, and they are very lucky that red just, <laughs> just messed up huge. Could definitely have let purple slam. Could have stalled a little bit harder so that green died first. I mean, just, I I hate how many times I have to betray red players, you know? It's just crazy. Uh, so we have to world dumb purple. Lose 370, okay. We have to go for the world dominate. Uh, oops, I've blundered. Oops, <laughs> I've blundered. Oops, all right, bad pathing. That's a good way to start. Okay. <laughs> the classic vampire chicken start. Now they might make a turn in, but okay. They are going to concede, I suppose. Nope, nope. All right, they're going to sit on that capital. <laughs> now here's how you path. This is an important lesson. Many people have said to me, hey, how do I path uh, spaceport sigma we'll watch this you take care first very important and then you just easily in one straight line waltz your way on through to victory it's quite a simple pathing map i would say mistakes are really humiliating <laughs> let's do one split here all right let's take this get my original cap take this out take care send a bunch of troops in hopefully this is enough uh, let's make sure this is enough before we do anything else. Let's send a hopefully enough in here. Can't believe purple's not good game well playing me right now. This would be the opportune moment. Eight on one, 26 on three. Beautiful stuff. Now here, unfortunately, you do have to do one split. That's all right. There's another split right here. As you can tell, it's a very complicated map. Uh, we could run out of time, so let's go a little bit faster. I don't think I have time to say good game. Uh, but that's... All right. There's always time to say good game. I was going to try to say good game. That's why I didn't kill him. <laughs> good game. All right. Nothing after all of this. No good game. All right. That's fine. Forget you two. You guys are all noobs and I destroyed you all. Again, it took just about two hours to do it, but there was some ups, some downs. But in the end, I do really think that these settings are fascinating. So if you do want to see this again, but hopefully a funnier, snowballier kind of game, uh, let me know in the comments below. Check out these. Everybody's a master. Oh my God. Purple and green were both masters. Masters of cheating and getting crushed. But if you want to master the game of Risk, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys for the next video.